Simone Biles and Jonathan Owens might just be the cutest pair of athletes out there. The Olympic gymnast and Houston Texan safety met shortly before the outbreak and have since developed a love relationship centered on lifting one another up. Today, we'll give you a complete rundown of how their relationship blossomed and you'll be thankful for all the wholesome Instagram posts. Now, let's look into their timeline. First on the timeline, we have November 2019. Biles initially hearted a photo of Owens on the field during a football game in November of 2019, exhibiting his faith in God, according to Al. What L also discovered was that around the time she broke up with Irvin Jr., she liked a shirtless photo of Owens on a Miami hotel terrace as well. March 2020 In March 2020, just as the pandemic lockdown begins, Viles and Owens communicate on Rhea. When they slid into each other's DMs, though, Owens didn't know at first that he was in the presence of greatness. He later informed Texas Monthly that he had no idea who she was. He'd never heard of her, which was one of the things she appreciated when he told her. He went on to say that the timing, which might have easily terminated the relationship before it ever got started, really helped them lay a foundation. They got together shortly before the pandemic. It was one of the rare occasions in her life when she couldn't do anything since everything was shut down. As a result, they utilized their time off to get to know one another better. It solidified and strengthened their friendship. In a cover interview with Glamour earlier this summer, Biles emphasized this sentiment, saying that she lived, traveled, and did things she couldn't do because of gymnastics, and that she could simply have fun. August 2020 In August 2020, the pair made it Instagram official, after a few months of dating. With the caption, It's just us, Biles uploaded a lovely photo of the two. She then posts another shot a few weeks later with the caption, The only time I fall is when he's there to catch me. September of 2020 A month later, Biles makes her Instagram debut on Owen's page. Now you rock with a real one, he wrote in the photo. For modern relationships, being on each other's Instagrams is definitely an important milestone. December of 2020. Biles and Owens get together for Christmas and New Year's Eve. It's always lovely to spend Christmas with the clan. Owens captions the shot, which shows the couple in similar jammies. Biles attends a game with her NFL player boyfriend in between the holidays. Owens told Texas Monthly that Biles is usually joyful, giggly, and bouncy, and that if he had a bad day at work, he wouldn't want to bring it home to her. February and March of 2021 Biles and Owens celebrate Valentine's Day in February of 2021 with a lavish display that includes balloons, a large love sign, and rose petals. In the description of the photo, Biles says, Lucky to be loved by you, a sweet display for the couple's first Valentine's Day together. To follow up on Valentine's Day, the pair took a vacation to Belize to commemorate their one-year anniversary and Biles' 24th birthday in March. Biles says on Instagram, I love you more than I love Belize. And that's a lot. Forever my travel companion, she says in another selfie. June 2021. Owens finally gets to witness his girlfriend compete for the first time in the U.S. Gymnastics Championships in June of 2021. After more than a year of dating, Biles will go on to win her sixth all-around national championship. Owens comments on Instagram, What a fantastic experience. It was my first time seeing you compete in person, and you did not disappoint. It's incredible that I get to see you do what you love and excel at it. My tiny champ. I'm very proud of you. The trials are coming up next, and you already know I'll be there. I adore you, sweetie. Owens displayed his support for Biles by wearing a t-shirt with a quotation from her during her Olympic trials in St. Louis later that month. And when she qualified for the Tokyo Olympics, he also got her flowers. July of 2021 When Biles infamously withdrew from the two Olympic competitions in July of 2021, Owens expressed his love and support for her. He wrote, I'm a ride with you through everything, baby. Your courage and strength are unrivaled, and you continue to inspire me every day. SB, you'll always be my champ, baby, and don't forget it. I adore you and can't wait to see that gorgeous smile again when you return home. You know I'm always here for you, sweetie, he said. I love you so much. Biles replied on the repost. Isn't that just the sweetest? August of 2021. August was an eventful month for the couple. Biles won a bronze medal in the individual balance beam finals as she returns to the Olympics for the second time. Owen celebrates her victory on Instagram stories soon after. He writes, Words cannot explain how proud I am of you right now. It's a shared sentiment. Biles visits the NFL training camp to support her boyfriend once she returns to the United States. She jokes on Instagram about open practices, which she refers to as bring your girlfriend to work day. Owens responded with how thrilled he was that she came. Biles, who was wearing an Owens t-shirt at the time, released her own photos during another visit on August 8th, and then the two had a spur-of-the-moment sunset photo shoot on August 15th. Owens participated in a preseason game 
against the Dallas Cowboys on August 21st, while Biles was breaching till further notice on a girls' weekend. Sending you love and good wishes from vacation. I'll be cheering you on, Biles wrote, expressing her support for her partner. Congratulations, number 16. I love you so much, she wrote with a snapshot from their video conversation, according to People, and went on to mention how proud she was of him. Biles celebrated their one-year anniversary with a hilarious Instagram picture on August 27th. Biles posted two new photographs with Owen with, Oops, I forgot to inform y'all that we've been dating for more than a year. It's been a year since the finest thing that's ever happened to you. Me, she says. My heart, Owen said on his Instagram stories in response to her post. In other gymnastics news, Kathy Cleggs. The Michigan Court of Appeals on Tuesday overturned former Michigan State University gymnastics coach Kathy Clegg's conviction for lying to police after concluding that her claims about not remembering a 1997 talk were not pertinent to a criminal investigation. During the 2018 investigation into the sexual assaults perpetrated over decades by former MSU and USAG doctor Larry Nassar, Clegg's was found guilty by a jury in February of 2020 with two instances of lying to a police officer. Two gymnasts stated that in 1997 they informed Clegg's about Nassar's assault. Clegg's misleading statement about the 1997 talks was not significant to the criminal inquiry initiated in 2018, noted judges Elizabeth Gleischer and Cynthia Stevens in a two-to-one ruling. They overturned her convictions and called for the charges to be dismissed. Judge Stephen Borello wrote a dissenting opinion, claiming that Clegg's conviction should remain, since the evidence presented at the trial was adequate. He respectfully disagrees with the majority's mistaken decision. The majority's arguments that there was no evidence that the defendant's false statement regarding the 1997 discussions was significant to the criminal investigation conducted in 2018 is, in his opinion, incorrect. Verona Madison Edgewood The season opening event for the Verona Madison Edgewood gymnastics team at Madison East has been rescheduled until Thursday, December 16th because Verona slash Madison Edgewood coach Rachel Hauser was in quarantine for a COVID-19 close contact. The dual match was rescheduled for Tuesday, January 11th. For the previous two years, the Wildcats and the Crusaders have qualified as a team for the WIAA Division I state tournament in Wisconsin Rapids. The VAME program finished fourth in the state last season, a new high for the program. Six gymnasts from the state team returned to the Wildcats and Crusaders. At 6 p.m. Thursday, January 6th at Verona Area High School, VA and ME will host Middleton in its inaugural home meet. It will be the first time the team has competed at home in two years. Due to the COVID-19 outbreak, the Wildcats and the Crusaders were unable to host home meetings in Dane County this past season. Mountain Gymnasts Academy The Mountain Gymnasts Academy recently competed at the West Virginia Gymnastics Training Center's Seasons Greetings event. Emma Sharp of Montrose won first place on bars and beam, second place on floor, and first all around in the JO Level 6 event. Lily Hayes of Elkins took first on beam, second on bars, and second all around in the JO Level 5 event. Brianna Holland of Bellington won the Excel Gold Class on Beam 1 for ages 14 and above. Mackenzie Phillips got first place in the age 12 division on the balance beam. Elkins' Maddie Hurst and Kennedy Cardi tied for third place in the all-around. Claire Niffen of Beverly had another fantastic competition in the Excel Silver Class, finishing first on vault and beam, second on bars and floor, and first overall. Lydia Cup of Elkins won first place on bars and second place overall in the Excel Bronze level. That's a wrap for this video. Do you agree with Biles and Owens being the most adorable ever, or do you have another power couple in mind? Let us know in the comments down below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. We'll see you in the next one.